So here's the camshaft for my new uh, left hand turning um, engine. The crankshaft turns counterclockwise, basically the opposite direction to a normal engine. So what I did on this, this is the special camshaft that I made. I uh, decided to do this one the easy way. Took the camshaft, cut it in half between the lobes, and then uh, re-welded it back together. Now you can see on the exhaust lobe on the left there, I had to do a lot of grinding uh, to uh, clear the connecting rod since uh, it didn't have the right uh, geometry turning the opposite direction. Um, now the way I uh, make these camshafts easier when I split them like this is I have this jig. It's uh, just a, you know, a, a block that I used in the sleeve valve development. Um, that I've cut various places and I just uh, cut a hole in the uh, right beside where the camshaft goes and that way I can uh, get in there and weld. It's also got uh, access holes in the back here uh, to rotate the camshaft. Now the one thing, so you can weld both sides of it and then pull it out and finish welding it outside. The one thing you don't want to forget is the uh, oil oiler because it's uh, the sh uh, shim on the back there otherwise you'll have uh, too long of a camshaft by the time you're done um, of course if you're using it in uh, uh, some engines that might be okay but uh, I try to get the uh, camshaft uh, aligned as well as I can uh, before I weld it because it can end up uh, uh, warped and things the two um, bearings can end up out of alignment uh, on it. So anyways, just wanted to give you some helpful hints on how I uh, modify uh, the uh, iron uh, Briggs camshafts.